days. For the palm olive plan was tested on women with all types of skin. Dry, oily, even skin that was not clear. Yes, regardless of age, type of skin, or previous doctors proved the 14-day palm olive plan brings fresher, brighter, younger-looking complexions. So get palm olive soap and start your 14-day palm olive plan now. Gentlemen, Dennis Day. Oh, I think I seem worthwhile. Well, in your eyes, and the smell of your smile. Dennis Day is brought to you by Colgate Dental Cream and Luster Cream Shampoo. Colgate Dental Cream to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Luster Cream Shampoo for soft, glamorous dream girl hair. The Dennis Day Show with Barbara Eiler, B. Bent Orchestra, and yours truly, Vern Smith, is written by Frank Galen and stars our popular young singer in A Day in the Life of Dennis Day. Here's Dennis to sing, I'm looking over a four-leaf clover. I'm looking over a four-leaf clover that I One leaf is sunshine, the second is rain. Somebody I adore Over a four-leaf clover That I overlooked before One leaf is sunshine The second is rain Third oh, in the lane Raining the one remaining Is somebody I Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. No other toothpaste does a better job of cleaning teeth than... For Colgate Dental Cream has a safe polishing agent that cleans your teeth both gently and thoroughly. Brings out their natural sparkle and beauty. You can actually see and feel the difference. And scientific tests prove that Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Yes, actual scientific tests prove conclusively that in 7 out of 10 cases... Colgate instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. Colgate Dental Cream is famous for its wonderful wake-up flavor, too. Nationwide tests of leading toothpastes prove that Colgate's is preferred for flavor over every other brand tested. Yes, preferred over every other brand tested. And no wonder. For constant effort to produce the finest toothpaste in the world today. For cleaning teeth, for flavor, for sweetening breath. So see if you don't agree with the millions who have made Colgate Dental Cream America's favorite toothpaste. Try Colgate Dental Cream to bring out the natural sparkle and beauty of your teeth for a wake-up flavor you'll thoroughly enjoy. And always use Colgate Dental Cream after you eat and before every date to clean your breath while you clean your teeth. Well, as you know, the whole town of Weaverville, there's no one quite like our young hero, Dennis Day. And most of the town is grateful for it. But Dennis can be happy or sad just like the rest of us, and today it's distinctly the latter. It seems that the local radio station is moving to another city, and with it will go all of our hero's favorite programs. Not even his girlfriend, Mildred, seems able to chase his gloom at this dire news. You don't understand what this means, Mildred. How can I face the morning without Ma and Pa Peterson, without the story of Myra Wilson or David Driscoll, Boy Powers model? Well, they're only morning serials, Dennis. But they're so real to me. You take Monica Popovnik's passion at 9.30. <laughs> Honestly, if that station goes off the air before I find out whether Monica's boyfriend gets a divorce, I don't know what I'll do. Well, the 
station will be on the air for another week. Yeah, but her boyfriend is a Turkish sultan. It may take years before he gets rid of the whole crowd. <laughs> oh, I see. Gosh, last week he told her he couldn't live without her. And you know something? He nearly didn't. He slashed all his veins, took poison, and jumped off a ten-story building. Oh, my golly. Yeah, he was laid up for three installments. <laughs> Dad, if you're taking this too seriously, you... Oh, hi, Daddy. Good morning, children. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Anderson. Well, what's the matter? Trouble again, Dennis? Yes, sir. There's an item this, in this morning's paper that says that W-E-A-V is going off the air. W-E-A-V? No, don't say that. Oh, do you like to sob your way to work every morning, too? <laughs> well, it isn't that, Dennis. It's something far more important. In fact, it may be a matter of my life or death. Your death? Oh, now, Mr. Anderson, it couldn't be. Well, wait till you hear. You see, my wife... Oh, she's involved. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I'm afraid so. A few years ago, I bought $100 worth of stock in WEAV without telling Poopsie about it. You... you acted without orders from the bridge? <laughs> yes. The salesman told me it was a great opportunity for a fearless man. And I, for a moment, forgot who he was talking to. <laughs> Golly! And now when this radio station goes broke, she'll find out you lost the whole hundred. Exactly. Well, farewell, children. Well, Daddy, you're not going away. Not far. Only about six feet straight down. <laughs> now, wait a minute. There might be a way to keep W-E-A-B on the air at that. Huh? Suppose we got up a petition and had everyone in town sign it, pledging their support to the station. Then the advertisers would be glad to keep their programs going and even buy more. Say, hey, Miller, that's wonderful. And I think it'll work, too. A petition. The very thing. Then let's get busy. Dennis, you take the south side of town, and I'll take the north. And remember, get those signatures. Boy, I'll say I will. Do you think I want to miss hearing just plain old Sam being committed to an institution or Mary McCord's children die off slowly one by one? I'm entitled to some happiness out of life. <laughs> How do you do, madam? I have a petition here. I'd like you to... What, again? Petitions and polls. Polls and petitions. That's all I get these days. They're coming out of my ears. But all I want... I'm in the bathtub. All of a sudden, brrr, the telephone rings. What program am I listening to? I'm washing my back, and they want to know who sponsors it. <laughs> but, madam, I... I get back in the tub, and brrr, there it is again. Do I want a Republican in or do I want a Democrat in? I don't want anybody in. I'm taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you see, Every I... time I get into the tub, the same darn thing. Questions, questions, questions until I can't see straight. What's a woman going to do? Cross them up. Change the day you bathe. <laughs> Inflation. Who knows from combating inflation? But I just and now like... you come along to ask me some more questions. What is it this time? Why does my husband drink, I suppose? Oh, no, ma'am. I can see why he... Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't mean it like that. That'll I must... be enough out of you wise guys. You can take your pole and <laughs> climb it. <laughs> Well, hello there, my little man. My dear chap, I'm not a man, and I'm most certainly not yours. Let's not be patronizing, shall we? Oh. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Well, come, come, fellow. Speak up. What is it? Well, do you ever listen to the radio? Oh, I might tune in one of those comedy programs occasionally, like Town Meeting of the Air or Chicago Roundtable. <laughs> How about the quiz kids? Good heavens, no. I can't stand those three-second pauses while they're thinking. <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. Well, anyway, there's a move on foot to deprive Riverville of radio. Good. I consider most of it unutterable garbage. And now, if you'll excuse me, good day. I'm in the midst of a little experiment in nuclear fission. Uh, yes, sir. I hope they're biting. <laughs> Again, 
Mrs. Ord, sit down. It's my house. I'll come home any time I please. Yeah, just try it, that's all. Yeah, and what do you do? You'll see what I'll do. Oh, if I had known what you were like when I married you. Ah, shut up. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Would you be interested in signing a petition? I have my mother at the door. Why would your mother be at the door? She can fly right through the window on her broom. <laughs> say one more crack about my mother, George Simpson, and you'll regret it the rest of your life. Oh, yeah? You heard me. The radio station might close down. <laughs> I suppose your mother is a rose. Every time she sticks her big nose in this house, there's trouble. At least she don't lie around in bed till noon every day like yours. Oh, is that? Oh. You're darn right it's so. Permanently. <laughs> My mother cooks a meal for us once in a while, doesn't she? That's another thing I got against her. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have nothing to listen to. As far as I'm concerned, you can tell that old battle axe to stay home. Oh, an old battle axe, is she? Well, I'll show you. Oh, madam, we not that. Don't throw that. Ha! <laughs> Again. <laughs> now, what was it you wanted, bud? Nothing anymore. That was your radio she just threw at you. <laughs> oh, Dennis, this is wonderful. Over 400 names on your petition. Must have taken you hours. No, I got them all in a few minutes. The whole 400? Sure, it was a cinch once I got to the cemetery. <laughs> the cemetery? You mean you copied them off the tombstone? Why not? I figure if our mayor lets them vote every year, they can sign a petition. <laughs> but didn't you get any living people to sign it? No, that's the one type of person I was unsuccessful with. <laughs> oh, my golly, and I only got two names myself. Well, what are we going to do? Well, your father just told me it's too late to do anything now anyway. All the actors have quit the station. They couldn't go on the air if they wanted to. All right. Then we'll be actors. Huh? We'll work for nothing just so the station can stay on and maybe attract some business. Us? You and me? Sure. You're talented. Or you can talk in dozens of languages. I've heard you. Yeah, but there's one slight drawback. What? I never know what I'm saying. <laughs> what of it? Yeah, who can tell? In radio, that might even help. Now, listen. I'm going to write a script for it. A, a playlist. I'll write it so it'll show off those wonderful foreign accents of yours. Mr. Thompson will be so impressed with you, he'll keep his station on the air. Well, gee, Mildred. Oh, please, Dennis. Think how badly Daddy will feel if he has to confess to Mother that he lost that hundred dollars. I doubt if he'd feel anything after the first few blows, but... <laughs> okay, we'll try it. Good boy. Gosh, Mildred, shouldn't we have rehearsed? I haven't even seen the script yet. Well, there wasn't time, Dennis. Besides, they often do it this way in radio. Oh, yeah? It does sound like it sometimes, but I don't know. <laughs> Come on, we haven't much time. Mr. Thompson? Yes? I'm Mildred Anderson. I just phoned you for an appointment. And uh, this is Dennis Day here. Where? Oh, behind your skirts. <laughs> well, what is this all about, Miss Anderson? Mr. Thompson, we think we can help you. I've written a script and we're going to play it together. I do just one little bit of a character, but Dennis has a dozen foreign language roles. Yes, but Miss Anderson... All we I... want you to do is listen. Now, the first one's French. A scene in Paris. A young man and a girl terribly in love. The girl speaks. Oh, my darling, how wonderful it is to have you back again. To feel the dear nearness of you. To touch your hands, your lips, your eyes... Do you feel the same about me, Pierre? Tell me, my dear one, do you? Oui. <laughs> now, the next one's in Russian. Commissar Dubrovnik has just been asked to take over the Red Army in Siberia. It will be cold, bitter cold. And the duty will be arduous. Still, it's the premier himself who has asked him to do it. There's a hush as Commissar Dubrovnik makes his... Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, now, really, he should say more than that. In Russia? <laughs> Now we're in Spain, the court of Queen Isabella. A humble sailor stands before Her Majesty as she asks him to find a new route to the gold of the Indies. Can he do it? She holds her breath as he says, Si, senor, I think. <laughs> now, see here, this is preposterous. Oh, wait a minute. I've still got a mashu and a hockey sport and a hakmanish kanchanik. <laughs> I don't care to hear them. Oh, but Mr. Thompson... Miss Anderson, I... I'm not interested in actors and plays. All my dramatic shows were sustaining anyway. The only thing that kept me in business here was my disc jockey program. Your disc jockey program? Yes. Chuck Stewart and his make-believe bedlam. <laughs> he had all our sponsors. Sponsors, and he's left us. Oh, then find another disc jockey. Where? I do. Him? Impossible. Besides, the record library belonged to Chuck Stewart, and he took it with him. Oh, we have a whole cabinet full of records home. And if you have requests for something or we haven't got, Dennis can imitate him. Imitate him? Sure. We'll just use a record without a vocal for background. You mean he could actually? Oh, but that's ridiculous. Preposterous. Still, I... No, that's crazy. Why? What harm can it do now? Why, George, that's true. All right, young man, report to me the first thing in the morning. Yes, sir. Gee, you sure are putty in your hands, aren't you? <laughs> Why did I talk myself into doing this thing anyway? It's just fantastic. Now, don't worry about a thing, Mr. Thompson. We'll put it across for you, won't we, Mr. Anderson? Oh, you just bet we will. I've written all the commercials myself, and I know Dennis can handle the music. Well, I hope so. You're sure you're familiar with the disc jockey type of program? Naturally. You don't think I do my housework in silence, do you? <laughs> well, if we fail, I'll be the laughing... Oh, my gosh. There goes the light. Go ahead. You're on the air. Well, uh, very good good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dennis the Disker bringing you the latest and best in modern recording as per your request on our make-believe bedlam. We'll be back in a moment with the first batch of requests. But first, here's a few words from Herbie Anderson about the Jiffy Razor, who sponsors the first minute and a quarter of our program. <laughs> Friends, is your beard tough, wiry, and bristly? Especially you men. <laughs> Tender skin is almost always the cause of your shaving difficulty. The Jiffy Razor will remove it instantly. <laughs> Remember that the next time you buy a razor. Thank you, Herbert. Request. Here is Belaine in Middletown, the Weaverville Hockside High, and the Girdle Girls of Moosefit and Ringle doing Temptation. Haven't got any of them, but here we go anyway. Here we go. Tell me, will you, darling, why you look so bad tonight? They bags around your eyeballs, which is red instead of white. Oh, just the way you can, just I should have known that you were temptation. You smile, leering me on, my calls you temptation. It'd be thrilling if you're willing, but if it never can be, then pity for me, cause you was too poor to be kissed. I couldn't resist, cause you were temptation. And I was yours Here in my heart Just take it away Just take it away And say that we will never, never, never part I'm just a slave Just a dead burn slave I'm going with you uh -huh. I'm a real hot slave That was swell, Joe. And now, a brief message. The thrill of a lifetime is coming your way. Humphrey go-kart in bloody gore at the Bishop Theater. When the next convict shoots eight men in cold blood, will the girl he loves lose respect for him? Shoot bloody gore and find out. Filled with pulse-quickening action. No <laughs> stirring love. <sighs> Heartwarming laughter. <laughs> at the Bijou soon. And now, friends, here's a request from Mrs. George Bachman of Middletown. Mrs. Bachman writes, 
Tonight is my 10th wedding anniversary, and I know my husband is just crazy about Nelson Eddy's version of Please Play Jean Sablon singing Je Tendre. <laughs> we'll be happy to, Mr. Jean-Tendre. Le jour, la nuit. J'attendrai toujours ton retour. J'attendrai qu'à l'oiseau qui s'enfuit vient chercher l'oubli dans son nid. Le temps passe et que en bâton dans ma cœur. Girls, now you can be shorter than he is. <laughs> Do you feel tall, gangly, uncomfortable because your boyfriend is shorter than you are? Then buy a pair of Lester's shoes today. Lester shoes have the specially built-in electric drill heel. <laughs> Makes you sink three to four inches into the pavement with every step. <laughs> now you can... Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have time for just about one more number. And we have a whole host of requests here for a song called I Don't Care. Eva Tangway made this song famous, but the record is an Im imitation by Beatrice Case. And since we don't have this... Well, anyway, what you're going to get is here's I Don't Care. I don't care, I don't care what they may think of me. I'm happy-go-lucky, men say I'm plucky, so jolly and carefree. I don't care, I don't care if I should get the meanest stony stare. If I'm never successful... It won't be distressful Because I don't care I don't care Oh, I don't care If people do not try to treat me fair <coughs> My voice may sound funny <laughs> But it's getting me the money Because <laughs> I don't And that, ladies and gentlemen, winds up make-believe bedlam until this same time tomorrow night. Good night, everybody. Hey, that was sensational. The switchboard's been going ever since you went on the air. All my sponsors want to come back. You've saved my station. Wow. Boy, do you hear that, Mr. Anderson? Oh, shucks. I could have told you it would happen. Talent is talent, and I just happen to have it. That's all. <laughs> I can never repay you, fellows. It came off perfectly. Yeah, and we didn't have any of the records that were requested either. Boy, I sure was lucky with those requests. Lucky? What do you mean? I have a feeling that if someone had asked for the Andrew sisters, I'd have been in trouble. <laughs> Dennis Day will be back in just one minute to sing Passing Fancy. But first... Grand news, wonderful news. Now Luster Cream Shampoo comes in tubes as well as jars. Yes, Luster Cream, the utterly new cream shampoo that gives you soft, glamorous, green girl hair. Try Luster Cream Shampoo. Four-ounce jar, one dollar. Smaller sizes, tubes or jars, whichever you prefer, 49 and 25 cents. But whether you prefer the tube or the jar, you will prefer Luster Cream Shampoo. Be a dream girl. A lovely luster cream girl. Dream girl, dream girl, beautiful luster cream girl. Hair that gleams and glistens from a luster cream shampoo. Dream girl, dream girl, beautiful luster cream girl. 
crowning glory to a luster green shampoo. The incomparable voice of Dennis Day, the music of Charles Dent in the orchestra, and the beautiful ballad, Passing Fancy, sung as only Dennis Day can sing it. Show brought to you by Cold You Clean Your Teeth and Luster Cream Shampoo for soft, glamorous dream girl hair. This is Vern Smith speaking. Good night, everyone. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.